All right, welcome to weekly update number six for the M1 Finance Monthly Dividends Portfolio. If you are new here, this is my experimental portfolio. If you want to see my main portfolio, check out yesterday's video. So as you can see, the current value of the portfolio is $349. I deposit $50 every single week and the gain and the loss has finally broken even. So we are on zero for gains, 0% 0 return, which is actually good. Now with the power of the monthly dividends coming in, basically it fixed the market gain loss there. So that's kind of the cool thing about this monthly dividend portfolio is the dividends are gonna be helping this grow hopefully faster because they are compounding every single month. Now last week we talked about the addition of Apple Hospitality REIT to the portfolio. So with this week's deposit, basically that was added in and everything was put pretty much back on weight for the whole portfolio. As far as tweaking this portfolio, I think I'm going to let it chill for the coming week here and just let the deposit do its thing. Basically add to each of the holdings here and probably let it build for a couple of weeks. Um, it's only $349, so I don't want to over tweak um, too early into the building process of this portfolio. So probably going to be boring for the next week or so, but that is part of the process here is just letting M1 Finance do its thing. That's kind of why you choose M1 Finance to kind of automate this whole thing. So on a more exciting note though, we got quite a few dividends since we last talked. We got one from Realty Income, one from SLG, one from Stag, one from Maine, and one from PVA. So like I said in the last week's video, we are expecting to crush last week's performance or last month's I should say. And as you can see on the graph here, we're heading in the right direction for dividends paid. That is the focus of this portfolio is to grow these dividends month after month. Every single holding in here is a monthly dividend payer. So that should be relatively easy to accomplish with dollar cost averaging strategy. So as far as income goes, we are now up to $19 annual income, which is about a dollar, maybe about $2 a month, depending on which part of Simply Safe you look at. Now with the tweaks we did this week, dividend growth is now up to 2.6%. Just with that small tweak there, it's starting to seem like 3% might be possible with a couple of tweaks in this portfolio. So I'll be looking at that, seeing what the options are. We might have to bump up SPHD just a little bit more. I don't want it to be too high, but 30% might be an okay percentage point for an S&P 500 ETF or index. So I'll be looking at that for the next couple of weeks. We'll see what I decide, but That'll be a good uh, pick for diversification, dividend yield, and decent income and dividend growth. So that would be kind of why I chose that. Um, and again, the diversification that that offers is probably the most powerful part of the SPHD holding. If you guys want to take a peek at each individual stock I have here, I will be leaving the link in the description. Basically, it'll just give you access to the pie here. So if you guys want to take a look at that, definitely check it out. Um, a couple of people have actually already used this pie to invest themselves. So I think you just click on the link and then basically add it to your portfolio if you want to have this cash flow kind of pie in your M1 holding account. Totally up to you, but it is available if you are interested in that. But that about wraps up this uh, week's update. There's not a whole lot to talk about here. We haven't really added any other companies. I'm going to keep trying to find some, but if they're too sketchy or too heavy into financials, we might just have to stick with these for now. We'll have to see what kind of research I can do and what I can find. If you guys know of any good picks that'll help me diversify this account, definitely leave them in the comments. And as always, any questions, let me know. I will see you guys tomorrow with a special Robinhood video.